Michelle Fiordaliso join us with everything you wanted to know about your ex. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Hey, uh, Susan Olson is here from yes. the Brady Bunch to celebrate the 40th it's anniversary of the Brady Bunch. It was impossible to believe. I can't believe it's been 40 years. Isn't that like a startling? <laughs> I refuse to it, believe it. It's kind of scary. It seems like just yesterday. Cindy was making us laugh. Well, she's all grown up and wants to continue to entertain uh, with this book about not just the Brady Bunch show, but uh, who remembers this? The Love to Love You Brady's The Brady Bunch Variety Hour, mm. which took place when they tried to launch uh, the bizarre story of the Brady, which they taped right here. Right here. Yeah. At KTLA. Really? Yeah. How about that? Yeah. And then Mark brought up, wait, where was the swimming pool and where was the ice skating rink? Oh, I can tell you all about that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. They were next door to each other. Donnie and Marie on one stage and us on the other. And uh, in, in, in thumbing through the book here, it, it's like, tonight, Donnie and Marie... Uh, next episode, Tina Turner and Milton Berle. They yes. really put a lot behind yes, this. Yes, they did. They were really great people involved, and uh, they did great work, but somehow you put it all together, and it just... It, it was voted the fourth worst show in television history. <laughs> uh, nine episodes, and you said that was eight and a half too many. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you know, this is something that always occurs to me. When did it occur to you? Like, did you know episode one, or like, oh, it'll be okay, or... You know, it all hit me when I saw the set for the first episode, and it was just so covered in glitter, and it was so gaudy, and, and I was thinking we'd have this great Busby Berkeley, you know, swimming pool, and it'd be beautiful, and I looked at that, and I went, oh, <laughs> oh, and I cried. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. <laughs> and I, I, I didn't like disco music to begin with. You, right. know, the, you know, punk was happening then, and there was real rock and roll, so that was kind of the last thing I wanted to do. But still, it, it was my family, and yeah. so it, it was fun. One thing that you point out in the book, that th it wasn't the real Jan. Like, Jan wouldn't right. do it. But we had fake Jan. <laughs> and, and Jerry Rochelle, who played Jan on the variety shows, is, is kind of the one replacement who sort of has her own identity. So she's fake Jan, and fake Jan was actually parodied on The Simpsons. No oh. way. Fake Lisa. Oh, that's funny. There you go. <laughs> uh, we're going to look at some classic Brady Bunch, because TV Land is going to start rerunning some of the episodes. Yes, I mean, I, I assume as we're speaking right now, uh, they're rerunning everywhere all the time, somewhere. Yes, they are. But right now, it's a marathon, and so you can watch them back. Back. Does it does it kind of freak you out because America won't let you grow up? <laughs> you know, I mean, they they they, they look at it or, or you. Know, pass I, that. I wish Mother Nature had the same designs on. <laughs> me. Wouldn't it be nice? Wouldn't it be nice? Um, and, and I, I guess it's a question that, that people wonder about, and, and it's trying to always find that lightning in a bottle. Why do you think it endures? I, I really think that it's because all the shows were um, were aimed at making the kids important, and so the kids' problems were important. You have Cindy's lost her doll, and the whole whole family goes crazy looking for it. And what kid doesn't want to see that? Mm -hmm. Plus they're all, you know, it, they're kind of universal, timeless problems. Mm -hmm. You also write about the protective nature of each other, how the Brady's sort of looked after each other. Yes. And then you say things in the book that you say are okay to say because they really were ultimately revealed by other people in their books earlier on. Right. But you told us something good about Chris that I did not know. We, we always thought he was wealthy because he was the successful business person. Why is he, <laughs> why is he really rich? Well, I mean, I think he married and divorced well. <laughs> <laughs> How about I mean, that? That contributed. There's a book. There's a book right there. Yeah. I could be wrong, and I'm going to see him Saturday. We're doing something at the, um, we'll be at the Santa Monica Library at 1 o'clock doing um, a, a discussion of the Variety Hour, and um, I'm going to see him, and maybe he'll kill me for saying that. Uh, <laughs> and if not, tell him to call Sam and Mark. Yeah, yeah. exactly. They want to know. We can talk about this with him. Uh, here's the thing. You can catch a classic runs of the uh, Brady Bunch, uh, the regular show. That'll be on TV Land, uh, as well as Susan Olson's new book, Love to Love You, Brady's. There's the book. It is in stores now. Susan, how nice of you to get it's really deja vu all lovely. over again. Yeah, really. Um, Good to see you. She'll walk the halls of KTLA where it all. There's, Absolutely. You know what? There's been so much mediocre television produced here. It has started. It, we're, proud, we're proud to continue and that great tradition. TV. And great TV on occasion. Yes, Absolutely. Great TV. Yes. What a delight to see right. you. Thanks. 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 Oh, Thanks thank for coming you. Out. All right, coming up, is it okay to sleep with an ex? How about be friends?